That is right, Minecraft Java Edition players that play Minecraft Java Edition on their Windows PC handheld today. I'm going to show you guys another way that you can load shaders using something called Optifine. Optifine loads shaders and it's also an optimization mod that helps with performance as well as again loading shaders and changing configurations now in my one video as you can see here i showed you guys how to install what is called sodium or embedium which is a fork of sodium for forge now this is only for forge if you came here for fabric then check out the fabric playlist because this whole series and playlist is only for forge and basically for forge 1.20.1 but it does work for other versions i'm just doing 1.20.1 because at the end of this entire playlist are some videos about how to install mods and what mods are awesome that you can play with a controller that is built inside your pc handheld like the god mod broken script and all that fun jazz so don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to share it with other people that want to learn how to install Forge on their PC handheld like this, or an Asus Rogue Ally, or anything of the sort. So Optifine, yes, it's another optimization mod, and how we're going to get that, well, we're going to go to our web browser of choice, we're going to type in our search bar, Optifine, okay? Now, on our search bar, when we actually search this, you see a website called Optifine.net, so click on that. Now you're going to see at the top of your screen a section that says Downloads, click on that. And then you're going to see another option called Show All Versions, so click on Show All Versions, now scroll out. And then you need to take note of these versions right here. Now, very important, because right now we are only using 1.20.1, but what if you wanted to use 1.21.4? You're going to click on this option that says preview versions and it's going to have a drop down for a whole bunch of different versions of forge that it works for so as you can see here this version right here the j3 version only works for forge 54.0.34 whereas this version the pre2 works with 54.10 and above it should work for anything after that version of forge now for our case because it is an older version of minecraft we are currently on 4.7, I think 4.0, but it says 4.7.2.18. That's fine. That means that it should work, which it does. So click on download, and now it's going to bring you to a ad page, basically just an ad. Wait for it to load because on the top right hand side, we're going to see something that allows us to skip the ad, and it's going to bring us to the actual download page. I'll put a link in the description below. Click on download and wait for it to download. If it gives you this little pop-up message, click on keep and then wait for it to actually do its thing. Now, when you're done with actually downloading it, go back into ModRinth. You're gonna click on the following. If you have all of these mods installed already, you have to turn off Oculus. You need to turn off Entity Culling, Embedium, and Embedium or Bidium Extra, Cloth Config, and I turned off ferrite core immediately fast and also the dynamic FPS because I noticed that with Optifine all of these other mods aren't really beneficial because Optifine already has its own sources inside of it. Click on the three dots on your little browser here beside the gear icon, click on open folder. Click on the plus icon on your actual web browser or your file browser, go to your downloads. Grab Optifine by clicking on it, click copy, navigate back over to Forge profile and click on mods and then paste it in here. Now we're gonna click on exit and you're going to see that that mod is loaded at the bottom of the screen. Now let's navigate and click on the play icon. Now, if there's other mods that don't work with Optifine, your device is just gonna, like your actual loader is just gonna crash. So just try to basically uncheck certain mods and stuff like that if it still keeps crashing otherwise you can keep trying until it actually loads until you can actually get it to work now i've tested optifine with also other mods like uh the god mod and stuff like that and it works out just the same it works fine and there isn't any problems now i don't know all the mods that work with optifine and which ones don't so don't you know quote me on that now, if we go to the mods folder, we're not going to see that Optifine is in there, but it is. If you go to your options and go to video settings, you'll see a section here for shaders. So you'll be able to actually set your shaders on and off. Now, I'm going to turn on the BSL shader, for example. 
and the options should be the same as my old options but if you didn't set this up before at all then you can just turn on your profile of choice now this just basically gives us an option to change our anti-aliasing to 2x to 4x and all that kind of stuff as well and change our render quality we can change our render quality in here down to like half to like 0.75 shadow quality we can change all that as well which i really like to actually change this information sometimes um, normal maps is our mip maps our hand depth our uh, right hand on and off and all that kind of stuff but i'm just going to leave that now for your actual optimizations so in our forge sodium video i showed you a whole bunch of different features you can turn on and off which were like your entity shadows turning on your v-sync to on and off so you can turn that off and on right there as well your animations you can turn off all your particles and stuff like that your details you can turn off certain things in here so like if you want your trees to be smart or fancy and your clouds to be fast you can turn on all, all of that stuff as well but if you're using shaders it's not really going to matter because the shader is going to override some of these features anyways um, your entity distance stuff is right here as well their entity shadows i think i already said that and there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can change as well so like there is your performance you can do the fast render turn that on and off your fast math that kind of helps with performance as well and it does tell you what it does uh lazy chunk loading that's turned on right now by itself uh dynamic updates your dynamic lights you can turn that on to fast or fancy if you want to uh, your smooth lighting, you can turn that on and off if you want to as well. And on the most part, you're probably not going to mess around with too much, but you can even change your actual percentages for your smooth lighting to be down a little bit so it doesn't, you know, bottleneck your device's frame rate. So let's go to single player, go to the world that we have been playing on this whole time and see what it looks like on screen. Because that's what you're here for. You're actually just to see how it all works out and stuff as well, right? So here we go with our controller built into our pc handheld again if you want to learn how to set this all up so you can play with a controller as well then make sure to check out my playlist in the description below and as you can see here it's loading just fine it works out great after it starts stabilizing itself now i have not i don't think this has an option to show our fps so there is a mod that you can actually show your fps but i have not found here hold on a second Oh, show FPS is right here in your other settings. There it is right there. Okay, never mind. I'm a liar. Not, not really, but there we go. So as you can see on the top left-hand side, we can see our FPS and we're getting pretty much 120 FPS on the across the board on the BSL with the same um, settings that we configured before. And again, like I said in my one video about, you know, setting your FPS to your V-Sync, it does help a lot, especially when you are trying to render your graphics and what i also did as you can notice like the graphics aren't the best of best because i changed the actual uh render quality down a bit so that you can actually get more performance and that's actually a really cool feature that i really like about this when we went into our settings here and we went into our uh, shaders it actually lowers the render quality of the shader so that it's not, you know, trying to overperform on your device. Now, when you're inside of the actual game, this is going to slow down your device. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to try to go down all the way down to 0.5 for a, for a second. Now, some devices, if you have a really powerful device, you can handle playing at 2x resolution. Um, here, let's, let's actually leave the actual world for a second. Let's go save and quit. And let's change this down to 0.5. Let's start off with that. And the reason why I'm just showing you this is just for an extra, just so that you guys can see how much of a difference this makes and how ugly it can look. It can look pretty ugly. <laughs> so let's go to setting or single player, go back into the game, and I'm going to show you this on screen. And here you go. So as you can see, we have like very, very, you know, low render quality, but we still have a shader. And maybe you want to play this way. Maybe you're playing like you want to play like pixelated Minecraft, for example. There's the shaders running at a stable performance rate and the fact that we can actually like lower the resolution quality on this is pretty cool. But once you start increasing that, obviously it's gonna bottleneck your frame rates and your performance a lot because your device can't handle it on the most part. So that is why I'm doing this. A lot of these videos on this kind of lower end device is just to show you that there are ways to get your low end PC handheld running at decent performances with other settings if you don't care about the quality all that much now i have played this at just like regular 
1x resolution, it seems fine. Even 0.75 seems fine to me. But again, when we go back into options and go to video and we turn on that setting to VSync, so which is right here. So we go all the way over to VSync. It's going to allow us to refresh based off of the display, which is 60 FPS. And I think that looks the best. Honestly, if your display is refreshing based off the actual refresh rate of your screen, you're going to get the best performance and best bang for your buck when it comes to using shaders and even um, at 1x resolution. Because we were able to get at 0.75 resolution, we were able to get the 120 FPS almost. We could probably crank it up to like 0.8. 0.8 on the shadow as well. Shadow is not really the biggest uh, concern. It's more of just the render quality. Then we can get a little bit more performance out of it and it still works out just the same. And that's how it looks. It looks great. I think it looks great. I don't know what you guys think. Do you think it looks great as well? I think so. Have a nice day, guys. Enjoy playing with Optifine. Again, what do you guys think? Do you think Optifine is better? Sometimes Optifine is better. Sometimes uh, Embedium is better sodium for forge it just depends maybe we'll do a video about optifine versus embedium have a nice day guys see you later and don't forget to subscribe